Parenting is the greatest responsibility in my life. And if I narrowed everything down to a priority of one, it would be my family above work and above myself. When I was a single mom, I had no idea how to manage my home life, when I would come in, when I would leave, what my son would need. So I had a great mentor who I had lots of conversations about that with. But she also said, take it one day at a time. This isn't about looking at the next six months, the next nine months. It's what's the most important thing for you today. And if it's something at work, then I will do it at work. As my son got older, if he had a baseball game and I wanted to get to a four o'clock baseball game, that's what I did. I would work my day around to make sure I could get out at four o'clock. Sometimes it meant I had to get online at night to do some work, but that was the most important thing for me to do that day, and so I did it. You know, it's tough. You're not getting a lot of sleep. Uh, you're trying to balance work and you know being a, a good parent um, and some recovery time. And what I think what the best piece of advice I got was, you can have it all, but not at the same time. And just enjoy each phase of your life. You're gonna go through different phases and enjoy it. And don't miss the one you were in before and the one you're heading into. I started working with somebody a few years ago, Jennifer Kleiner, who helped me to understand that work-life balance was not necessarily a 50-50 split or an 80-20 split. It was more about being the best you can be when you're at work and focused on work the best you can be as a husband or a wife when you're with your partner and the best you can be as a parent when you're with your children. I think the thing that's most important to me is that I've always had bosses here that respect the fact that I value my relationship with my family and as much as I love City, uh, being here 29 years, my, my family comes first. The most important thing for me is that I get to see my daughter. Um, and I mean that in the context of like a working day. I want to be able to see her either in the morning or in the evening. So I try to adapt my working day to make sure that's possible. For me, two, two very critical things, and I'm sure not uncommon, would be that I want to be a great father um, and I want to be successful at work. And so what I then do is think, okay, how do I enable myself to be successful on those two fronts? There's really hard to keep it all together. I think it's more, about prioritizing what is it important and be here now is supremely important today my children don't live with me so we get limited opportunity to be together physically but making sure that we make the best of that time and when we are not together making sure that we stay in touch it's become a lot easier now if you're not staying together to stay in touch but i think that's one thing that's very very important I'm here by myself at the moment. My family's still back in Australia. I'm managing being a parent remotely. Um, and I'm doing it via FaceTime and WhatsApp. Um, they're great tools. Thank God for the digital age is all I can say because it really helps you stay connected. And I think that's primarily the most important thing. How do you stay involved you know, in your children's life and in your family's life when you're actually not present in person? Eight years ago, I took my first mobility move to work in City Hong Kong Unfortunately, after working two years in Hong Kong, my dad was sick and I have to take a decision to return back to City Singapore as I want to be close to my parents, especially my dad, uh, who depend uh, on me a lot. I've spent three good years with my dad before he passed away. Um, looking back, this was the best decisions I've ever made. I think what's important is you need a support system around you. Not just at work with supportive managers, supervisors, but you need a, f a community or a family support network around you. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do any of that without having that solid, solid base. That, that's, that's, there's no secret source. It, it's called cool being a supportive partner, I guess. You know, I have this philosophy that being happy with yourself outside of here helps, helps the place here, um, and being happy with your situation here helps your home life. I always say that I'm a better employee because I'm a mom and I'm a better mom because I work. Making sure that my daughter has a happy life, that, that would be the definition of great fatherhood to me, is that she looks back on her childhood and says, I had a really happy childhood. It would be as simple as that. If you want to have a family, then family is number one. Nothing can come before that, nothing, no matter what is going on.